playing a penalty advantage there, La Rochelle, or rather Wayne Barnes was, but they're not too happy with the collision with Pieta in the air. Played a man in the air, he's land dangerously. Murray Murray Valu. Oh. Apologise, he's yellow carded. Sometimes malfunctioning Ulster line out works well here with Alan O'Connor. That's a great take, and it's a great drive by Ulster. And Rory Best scores, and Ulster win this particular mini battle of robot wars against this huge La Rochelle pack. The pressure is mounting here from Ulster to Sean Reedy is the latest to carry as they move through these phases now into double figures. Rodney Ayew makes a characteristic carry. It's something that he does bring to this Ulster team. Rodney Ayew, Lele Afano, and Ulster on a penalty advantage here. A little flick on, it goes backwards, it goes backwards, and Ulster go forwards and into the corner through Jacob Stockdale, who shows that reptilian strength of his. Yeah, that's poor oh, oh. and Piatau downfield to his opposite number, Murray Murray Valu, who's a member of Fiji's World Cup squad a few years back. And they go through the middle, through Vito, and he's a lot of pace, Vito, and there's support through Bales, and it's Alexi Bales who gets to the line for La Rochelle, the Frenchman cascading forward and slicing their way right through the heart of that Ulster defence. In comes Kiev, and now it's Ulster with the perfect response through Nick Timoney. And Ulster playing a trick of their own against La Rochelle. Got to get the ball to ground, and they have done. No play. And here is Dumey, he is dangerous. You've got to watch him from minute one to minute 80. That did not go forward, did it? Yes, it did go forward. Yeah, he lost control of the ball, and La Rochelle have lost control of the game. Match goes to Ulster. Great fight back from Ulster. A really sturdy response. It's a classy start from the Frenchman. Three teams still very much in contention for this pool.